Can I sign fuck, the paper? Fuck everybody. This is us. This is real. Honey, why would the fuck everybody want to have you? <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, I'm Riyadh and I'm sure you know who these two motherfuckers are. This is my mom Lorraine, Hi. this is my dad Sam. And uh, since I really set up this channel, there has been one recurring comment that has been coming up on every video, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere, which is, how did you come out? How did they take it? Was it good? Was it bad? So I knew from the start that the process of mom finding out and dad finding out was going to be completely different because mom uh, was brought up in like a pretty Catholic family here in Ireland in Dublin and then dad was brought up in, in Iraq uh, with a completely different culture uh, sometimes can be a little bit close-minded over there so it was like what is going to happen? I don't know. I was about 13, 14 and that's when I started to see myself looking at the other boys in, in my uh, class and thinking, oh god, oh god, what is going on? I'm not meant to feel this way about other guys. I'm meant to be attracted to girls, but I wasn't. Over time, you eventually come out to yourself. You, you sit down, you're, well I sat down in my bedroom at night time in the dark and just said to myself, okay, there's nothing you can do about this, you are gay. After about four years of battling with it, am I, am I not? Then came the time to eventually tell these two, the most important two to tell. But you told mom first. I did tell mom first. Well, but you didn't tell. Oh. No. Well, I always kind of had a feeling, but I didn't want to put a label on Riyadh, or just Riyadh is Riyadh, and she was different to the other boys. But that was just my son, and I just thought that's the way he is. Um, but there was one night I was up on the computer and I wasn't very good and I pressed a button and it must have been the history button and I saw this gay website and I kind of got a shock. And was I it thought, porn? No, it was just all these guys with their tops off and posing <laughs> and I had gay written on the title and I thought, oh, and I just... I was very broke, innocent. I just broke out into a cold sweat and then I started panicking. I just thought, oh! <gasps> He is, he is, he is. It was like a confirmation of my little thing in my head that I thought he might be. I think I was 16. I was 16. 16. Uh, so the first person I thought of was to ring my mom. So I ran out into the back garden and I went into the shed. Did you? Yeah. I didn't know this bit. Oh, did you not no. know that? Okay. I said, Riyadh's gay. And I was crying and I was really upset. And um, she said, oh, for God's sake, I knew that years ago. <laughs> and it was like... Did you? Like, I just couldn't believe Why were you crying? I was crying because, firstly, I thought, oh, the poor child, he's holding this all in and he's afraid to tell me. And I felt upset that you couldn't come to me and just say it because, you know, you can say anything to me. And then thirdly, I was thinking, fuck, what's Sam going to think? Because I know he had no idea that you were gay. Mm. It never came across his mind. I never mentioned it to him that I had this feeling. The most important thing at that time was to go into you in the living room. So I remember I walked into the living room and I dried my tears and whatever and I said to you, you were watching TV and I said, Riyadh, do you have something to say to me? Oh God, I remember. <laughs> and you, you just went, what? And I said, you know, you can say anything to me. I love you, it doesn't matter what. Yeah. I said, I don't want you to be holding things in. And then the penny you dropped. Tell, you can tell me anything. I remember you just putting your face in your hands. And you held your face in your hands for so long, and then you started crying. And it was when you cried, I knew I was right. We were, like, we were up until like four in the morning, Yeah. talking. Like you were so understanding, but you, I could tell, I could see it in your eyes, you I were terrified. Panic. Over that, it was a nine month gap between when I told mom and then when I told dad. <coughs> and over those ni nine months, I grew further and further away from you. Nine months in darkness. Yeah, and I just yeah. felt more and more like, you're so annoying, get away from me. I hate, I hated being in your company. You'd walk into a room, I'd clam up and I'd get tense. And I didn't realize it was because I was preempting what your reaction might be and trying to protect myself. To, to distance myself mm. from you emotionally, which is a horrible thing to do. There was a row, I don't know what it was over, but it was like way over the top. It shouldn't have been, had escalated that much. And it we must had, have been something very small, just And, and we had yeah. just ran out of the house and I was so worried and I ran after him. Um, and I ran and ran and ran. And you I, hurt your ankle. I, I tripped and I hurt my ankle. And it was and in the middle I of the night. I came back to the house and then I was crying, I was saying Sam, and then we were out looking for him and 
then I said, Sam, you have to find, you have to find him. And then eventually you went out, and I think it was about a mile away you walked mm. and, and you found him. Yeah, and, you, and, and he was sitting together. crying. And that's when I said, I said to Riyadh, look, this can't go on any longer. You just have to let, he was so frustrated. Your head was melted, wasn't it? Yeah. I said, Riyadh, I can't do this anymore. And I just went over to him and I said, you have to say it to him now. And, and she I, said it out loud in front of him. And I was like, shut up. Shut up, shut up, stop. Yeah. And you guys, you have to tell him something. And I'm like, and I just I kept just, saying, tell him, you have to tell I him, you have you to have tell to, him. You have and what, what were you thinking when she said that? I don't know. I really don't know. I just was such a shock. I don't know what you did. I was sort of waiting to see what it is. Tell him. I, I remember my brain screaming at me saying, say those two words, I'm gay. Just say it. And my mouth wouldn't. Do it. Just wouldn't fucking make the words, no matter how hard I tried. And I never felt paralysed. Mm. Absolutely paralysed, physically and verbally, just couldn't do anything. And then I pull over um, one of my school books and I rip out the back page of it. And I have a pen and uh, I write on, on it, I'm gay. And so I just, because I can't say the words, I just slide it across the table to you. Mm. And then I go, I just leave it there and I'm like looking away. And then what? No, I just read it and it's like waiting to sink in. I was like, really? No, it can't be. Is he? But you see, it just so confused. Is this confusing? Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes it just hits you, bang, yeah. and then you're not really expecting it, and then you be thinking what to do, and then the family and all that, and then. But if you think about it, really, it's just stupid thinking. To be honest, it's so stupid. What I'm thinking is for every father, every mother that they love their kid, they have to stand by them because the only one who's going to stand by you is your kid. Mm. In the end. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You know I'll be there for you. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. No. Oh. That's no. what family is for, you know? No, I just... Uh, you're going to have to edit that. <laughs> <laughs> well... I, I remember yeah. it was it was tough for you, mm. and I know Andrew, our next door neighbor, came yeah. in. Oh yeah, and Andrew really helpful. Andrew took you out of the house because mm. you were crying. Yeah, and really looking now, it's so stupid. It's so so. I look. I feel so silly now no, talking about don't. it. That no, it is. It is felt, so silly. Though, at the time. No, I well, I felt all the time, but thinking about it now, Lorraine, it's stupid. I was like a drama, and I remember I actually got up that night at. Uh, we all went to sleep, I think about three, four o'clock in the morning, sitting on the deck. And I was looking for a tablet to commit suicide. Dad! <sighs> Where are you? Dad! Why did you do that? No, that's what I say, it was so stupid. No, really. I didn't know that. Yeah. I know you were thinking about it, but I didn't know you were actually. No, I was. I was. Oh. I know. Do you know what? Mm. Isn't it great that you're being so honest? And look at you now. Look yeah. how you're the best dad in the fucking world, and I love you Amazing so much. Amazing father. You are the best. Yeah. Imagine yeah. if you had it done that, how stupid that would have been. You huh? wouldn't be here now with us. Yeah, yeah I know. Mm. And all because of a few fucking dickheads with opinions that you were afraid of. Yeah. And we don't no. care about them. No, 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 I don't care. I don't care. It's all about us. It's us and the family. Yeah. Like I said, you know, if I could feel sick or anything, you won't get anybody on next to my bed, you know. Just your to kids. Mind me, yeah. Just your yeah. I hope you take the plane from London to come back. I <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Yeah. There's no communication. They say, uh, we have to sort of sit and talk. That's but you know, there's a lot of people going to be come out from now to God knows where. Mm -hmm. They need to be helped. And it's going to be normal. That when you want to come out to your parents, doesn't matter who is it, if it's, let's say, the mother or the father that you're closer to, and you could trust, and then they could listen to you, uh, just tell them gently. And then the other person would tell the other person gently, the father or mother, the opposite one. 
So at least that you don't hit them in the face to give them shock. Like, no. what the shock I got? Like, uh, there they go, I am gay. Riyadh Ria <laughs> goes, I am gay. And then after Sam had read his notes, and um, one day I want to come home and I want to bring my boyfriend here and I want to have dinner. Yeah. And I'm going to have a this. husband, I'm going to get married, married. I'm going to yeah. have yeah. kids yeah. with a man. I think you did very and gently. Like he just, he, because he had held everything <clears throat> in, he just exploded with all of it, <laughs> all at once, yeah. in the space of five minutes. You can't expect five minutes, five days, five weeks. Um, a complete turnaround. Yeah. So, let me just tell you that if we can go from where we were to where we are now, which is just a, a completely different place, then you mm -hmm. can too. I mean, I've never seen a turnaround mm -hmm. in two parents as much as these two. We talk about everything. everything. Like, mm -hmm. we actually talk about too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit a little over bit the top. Oh, <laughs> 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 like, sex, everything. Both of them have come with me to gay nightclubs like six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. We have gone to gay, gay pride, pride marches. They uh, were at the front of the parade for like two years. Uh, no, I think we've done four years. Have we you done four times? Yeah, yeah. And they bring like drinks and plastic bottles. Yeah. with them party with everyone oh they're lovely people you know yeah. I mean, pe yeah. people always think of uh, gay or sleazy or something but they are really nice and you could trust and they're lovely people and they stick together they're a lovely community i wouldn't change what we have for mm. anything because it's given me an insight to a whole different world and um, I always wanted a daughter. I feel like I have a daughter with me. <laughs> yeah. um, you kind of have both, I guess. I have the best of both worlds. There are stereotypes there, but who gives a fuck? Yeah, but sure. I feel blessed that we've had this experience. Well, guys, mm. I hope this helped in some way. If you've got someone that's going through some difficult time coming out, send this to them. Hopefully it will help them too. And um, make sure you subscribe, uh, like the video too. I will see you next week. You ready? Yeah. Come here. I haven't watched it in seven years. Oh, what is this? I think I saw 2007. You're kidding! You're kidding! <laughs> Riyadh, cheers!